Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah Halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to birds of uh, Mount Kinabalu in Borneo uh, This video was suggested by Abdul Rahman Terima kasih Thank you very much So and mercy for taking the time to send me a recommendation and suggestion The video is by uh, Tim Forrester And the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out So we'll get started with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds And at the end of the video I'll share with you guys my observation, reaction As well as any comments So if you want to see that then please stay until the end of the video And with that said, let's get started Oh wow, what a beautiful view, Mashallah. Mount Kinabalu. I don't know if those are clouds or those are the steam coming out of the, the mountain or like a volcano. Oh wow. Mashallah, that's so beautiful. Green and black. White heads brought the oh. What a beauty, eh? Mashallah, well, Indonesia and in, in Malaysia, because they're in the rainforest, they have some beautiful animals there. And we've, I've, we reacted also to, uh, you know, Birds of Paradise, which I think was in, in Papua. And uh, there was some beautiful and unique birds there that are basically only you know live in that region and i'm pretty sure these might be exactly the same where you can only find them there wow what a unique nest mm. How perfectly they fill that nest Allah's creation and the talent that they have given, that He has given them, you know, to be able to take all these pieces of grass and wood and stuff and build like such a beautiful house. Here's another one. This is one of the chestnut crested Johina. This one's house is like, I guess, closer to maybe hills or mountain area. Oh, wow. Looks like a woodpecker. Sorry guys, my phone keeps ringing and it's distracting me. Just turn it off so I can pay attention to the video. <laughs> has a long peak. It kind of like a smaller version of, I don't know, maybe the kind of like a pigeon or even a quill. At the base of, I guess, like a banana tree or something. <laughs> so cool. White, brown, short wing. It's like uh, reddish, brownish, and then back is black. Sometimes I think about them like if we see this on earth, this beauty, for example, you know, in this uh, ocean, um, you know, in, in animals, 
uh, out in the sky. We cannot uh, phantom and imagine what things are available in in uh, heaven, right? And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us all and grants us uh, all an entry to Jannah because of his forgiveness. Wow. Ornean green magpie with its eyes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> like it has like a crown. And the beak is red. Oh, it's beautiful. Its legs are red too. I think they probably monitor this because you can see it has uh, rings on its uh, ankle. Maybe government agencies, you know, monitor how many are there, for example, whether they're decreasing or increasing, right? Another one. Wow. Boot Hunter. That's an easy name. Oh. Wow. The whole thing, it just spit it out and gave it to the baby, and the baby just took it. Wow, you again? There you go. They don't eat uh, worms, they eat uh, fruit. <laughs> Vegetarians, or we can say fruititarians. <laughs> Yellow-breasted warbler. It looks like a canary because it's tiny. And usually can canaries that have that like yellowish color to them. But this one has a longer beak, bigger eyes, and then has that redness. This, they pick uh, pretty unique places too to build their nest. And I think this one's being monitored too because you can see this stuff on its ankles. Pornian stoop tail. Mm. Wow. Really low pitch. Oh. It hurts your ears. <laughs> Disappears. See, Los Pantala says, right, we created you in pairs. And uh, raising a family is two people's job, right? Work together where uh, the female is sitting on top of the eggs or stays at home and then the male goes, gets food. And I think once the babies grow older, then they go out, both of them. Get food. Golden napped orbit. Oh, this one lives inside trees. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> Just sticking his head up. Maybe looking for predators. Owl. Mountain corpse owl. Wow. Owls are so scary.
just the way SubhanAllah they are, like mashallah, big eyes, really like sharp beak, and then the fur that they have looks like an eyebrow like this, right? So it makes them look scary. <laughs> Look at the uniqueness of them, subhanAllah. During the day, they can't see. At night time, they can, like, subhanAllah. Different animals, different characteristics, different specialties. <laughs> you know, looking at these uh, birds, human beings, you know, for example, mimic them to build technologies. They look at the birds to build the airplanes, and then, for example, the owl can see at night, night vision, and even uh, some of the other things. I think the American uh, B-2 bomber, they have it similar to, I think they said, the, an eagle, because the way that it flies, it has its head uh, low, right. and that's exactly, if you look at the picture, that's how they've built it. It's totally different looking than the rest of them. White stripes. Mm, that sounds like a canary. Bornean whistler. Whistler. Baby's hungry, just swallowed the whole thing. <laughs> you can see, this one is marked too. You can see its ankles. Red-breasted partridge. Bulbul. So, a good voice. And it has a crown. You see, the chick is big enough to get out of the nest, but not enough to, I guess, fly. It'll wait for its parents to eat it. Oh, 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 oh. Asian emerald dove. This is a dove. Seen white ones. Other colors. I uh, haven't seen this brownish, greenish looking one. White it's spider hunter. I need some of these. By our place, there's like a big tree, and the spiders just love them. So if I can have a couple of these, just live in that tree, <laughs> it'll be awesome. <laughs> it'll eat all the spiders. Everett's Trosh. I was uh, thinking of getting my daughter like uh, a pet, maybe uh, like a cat or a bird or something. And, uh, you know, at that time we started uh, 
searching to see whether it's uh, okay Islamically to keep uh, a pet. And uh, we came, we found out that, you know, keeping pets locked up is actually haram. We have to let them live in that open environment um, that they're used to. You know, th for example, for dogs, having it for uh, hunting, you know, protection of animals, it's, it's okay. Um, but you know, keeping them inside the house is not. So inshallah, maybe one day if I have uh, a bigger place and I need it protected, then I might get some dogs. But the cats, I want to have a cat that just scratches everything. Black capped white eye. I like the names, how they just basically describes them. Black cap, the head is black, white eye. <laughs> What's the bird's name? It's called black hat, white eyes. Oh, okay, I see it, it's that one. <laughs> wow. Outlet. Hmm. Different kind of owl. Oh, looking at the camera. How do they like build a hole inside a tree small? That is big enough to put them. Ornean fork tail. Oh, they have a bit of a crown too. I like seeing animals in their, you know, natural environment. Um, small of, you know, the city here in Vancouver, as well as the surrounding areas. When you drive, you see some uh, unique uh, uh, birds. We have lots of uh, eagles and uh, a lot of other uh, different kind of uh, birds. And uh, if you go a little bit uh, further and maybe like in the wild, you might see like deer. And uh, I've seen deer, I've seen um, uh, Horned, uh, I think what do they call those, uh, uh, horned goat maybe, uh, but some people uh, seen bears and actually they come to their houses too, um, you know, where we hear it on the news, but I haven't seen any bears yet, I haven't come across them, uh, which is good and bad at the same time because they're pretty dangerous. <laughs> and we also have um, cougars, uh, they're basically like, uh, kind of like a mountain lion and uh, yeah, sometimes they come outside people's houses or sometimes there was actually a video recently um, I don't know if it was in Canada or somewhere else there was a guy who was being chased by one of them and he had this camera and he was backing out and he actually followed him uh, for quite a bit of a way and then ran away the guy got lucky hello Looking at like what's going on. <laughs> I think they, they basically dig a hole in the trees because you can see swallow that it's like freshly cut. A talent, like I said, the creativity the Lost Fontala has uh, given them, you know, like your babies. But even though they grow and they have never maybe seen anybody build a nest. Is in their DNA. So they go and, and, and do that themselves. Snowy brow flycatcher. Oh, this one too. 
because it has like a little bit of whiteness, so, like eyebrow snowy brown <laughs> flycatcher. <laughs> This one would be nice to have in your backyard during summer. Are there any flies, mosquitoes? We'll be catching it left, right, and center. <laughs> Another cool nest. Ashy drongo. It does look a little bit like ash. Light grayish. It's so common swallow if you're like walking through a, a trail or maybe not not a jungle but just maybe like a forest and you hear the bird is just you know super relaxing and calming and uh, even better is if you're sitting like on your patio maybe your house is uh, the backside is you know has some trees and you hear the birds early in the morning you have a cup of coffee or tea and just relaxing that's the best experience. You know, we, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us and uh, grants us uh, Jannah through his uh, mercy. So we get to experience and see the animals of uh, Jannah as well. If, you know, subhanAllah, the animals uh, of earth are just beautiful. Like I said earlier, you could just imagine like that there's some descriptions of the rivers, the rivers, uh, rivers of honey, river, rivers of uh, milk and wine. And, uh, you know, here, for example, we just give trees regular water and we plant the seeds and dirt and the food come up so sweet and delicious. Could you imagine that, uh, you know, the, the trees drinking, for example, milk or honey and uh, what kind of food would they grow, right? So it's just too much, for example, to experience. Our, our mind can't even comprehend. Look at the nest of this one has Follow that creativity, that talent. And they don't have hands, right? Like, follow, they can't use their, uh, uh, what would you call it, I guess, their, uh, I forgot, their wings. So the only thing that they're using is just their beaks and create something like another owl, bared eagle owl, eagle owl, oh, oh, oh scary, his eyes are black, can't even look at it, scary, mountain barbette. Pale-faced opal. Mount Till Taylor Bird. You know what I haven't seen in wild is canaries. 
because my dad like really likes the canaries and spawner he used to keep a lot he keeps one now too and um, it just I've never seen them like in wild and, um, and you know for example what do they do with how do they interact and what are the different species or you know colors for example This poor bird looks bad. So chubby. Oh, oh. great chin. Orange headed bush. On Saturdays, I also have a, a class for um, computer networking, but uh, it is actually running right now, so that's why I'm a little bit uh, distracted. But. I've read through the material and um, the instructor lacks a little bit of uh, teaching style so it's hard to understand that way I just basically read through the material and do the work and write the exam. So that's why my friend is messaging me whether I'm listening or not. <laughs> beauty. All of them swallow, most of them they just basically put a hole inside like on the side of a tree. And maybe that's why they have those long beaks. And look how big that hole is. Could you imagine how long swallow it takes them to build that nest? and dig that hole.
so that's a wrap guys that was pretty cool lots of uh, beautiful uh, animals like i said you know indonesia as well as uh, malaysia have really really uh, unique uh, animals uh, because of their uh, location and being kind of like a tropical uh, weather and uh, you know, being so close to the ocean the sea life is beautiful the birds are beautiful and this is why i want to you know inshallah one day uh, travel to indonesia as well as malaysia so not only get to meet the great people uh, try delicious food but also experience um, you know seeing the animals uh, in their natural uh, habitat um, so it's really really beautiful guys thank you very much for suggesting it as you guys know i'm working uh, towards my goal of reaching a million uh, subscribers and that's uh, when inshallah i'll be taking a trip out the east so if you haven't please consider subscribing and if you guys like this video please don't forget to like comment share uh, as always chairman can say thank you very much shukran and mercy guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care Wassalam.